Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Baldur's Gate 3. Ah, I should be playing this game more recently, it's just I've had a number of reasons why I haven't been able to unfortunately. Right, let's get into it. So, everything seems to be pointing towards the Elf Song Tavern and I believe we recommended that place to a couple of tiefling refugees who should be outside the city in barred entrance and not allowed in, but we may meet them there somehow. What else do we have? Oh, that's upstairs. Okay, and that? That's inside. Good, we can go. The artist is there. So for now, let's walk along this street a little bit. Oh, also, probably not very important for most of you, but very important for me. I've found out what they did with Shadowheart's hair. I know what you mean, it's still in her head, right? But I enabled mods after the recent patch to see which mods had been updated, which ones needed to be updated, and which ones actually would work okay without being updated. And I found out finally what happens if Shadowheart is able to use the magic mirror and does so with this My new man. act free hair. Every substance has been tried and tested by when she clicks on the mirror, it actually reverts to her old hair model, but this color. Meaning, they haven't actually changed her hair. They've put some kind of spell or effect or appearance on her that makes it look like she has a different hair model. They have put an override on her hair color so the core base colour is always this light greyish colour. However, it's still got the black streaky greying, as in the greys on blacks turned all the way up, which is why it looks very dark in her portrait. So previously her hair was a, a medium to dark, you know, medium black with darker black um, Grey streaks turned all the way up. And with highlights turned all the way down. <coughs> and I found that going in there, turning off the grey streak, turning the streaks to like a light grey or something. And then changing the highlight colour and actually turning up with certain hairstyles can lend, lead to some very interesting nice results, still with a mostly... Whatever you change the base colour to, it's still this colour. But you can add a bit to it and make it... interesting. Now there's lots of people here, and it would be lots of fun to go everywhere and do everything. And I, I rather want to, in my methodical manner, but also it would be nice to leave some things for a future playthrough. A lot of these are just nameless non-interactive citizen members of the citizenry, as it were. Who are you? You're just a refugee. So you got inside. And I can't speak to any of these. But I can climb this ladder. Oh no, another steel watcher. Best not to interact. We need to find a way across, don't we? Right. This building must have an entrance. The Gondians built the steel watch somewhere. Yes, but they were. I found it. Then they want us up those stairs. How about the two doors beside the door? So the harpers are waiting too. Hello, slowsy arm lifter. Excuse me, we're discussing steel watcher gyronetics. A topic beyond your understanding, I imagine. Also, possibly beyond yours. What's up for discussion? Give me for a tour. Are you a steel watcher fan too? If so, 
We meet here every day to discuss their mechanics. Oh god, they're like Iron Kingdoms fans. It's all war machine and hordes. And they like from machines. My mate got thrown by a steel watcher. Lucky bugger. The trajectory was perfection. Yep. And how's he feeling now? All lumpy and bruised, I imagine. Possibly with some broken bones. I should probably read what it says on my board before barging in. Ah! As in garments? Oh, hello. But wait, what? Oh, fuck. Uh, what do you want? Yay! You spoke to me! Nobody ever talks to me! My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be... What do you think? Can I be a fighter? It's fucking Nuba. Oh god, I knew new, a, a newer version of Nuba was in the game. So, there was a non-player character in the first Baldur's Gate called Nuba. And he was an idiot who didn't know how to do anything, didn't understand anything, and would constantly ask questions and follow the player, automatically triggering conversation every few seconds, including going through area transitions until he died. Hmm. There appear to be more options lower down. There are not more options lower down. Okay, why don't you actually fight me and I'll tell you. Um, here's a trip to, tip to get you started. Less talking, more fighting. Follow your dreams and find out. That seems good but if he's just kind of feeling inspired and listless and directionless it's a horrible malaise and the only real way out of it is just to wait until it eventually passes and then the next time you feel inspired you might actually feel inspired um maybe pick a different career <laughs> um, hmm. maybe pick a different career I was hoping you'd say that. To tell you the truth, I don't actually like hurting people very much. Or, or getting hurt. It's a good job I ran into you. You're not going to ask me to do it for you, are you? I wonder if there's like a whole upstairs area. Um, uh-oh, she's running away. I'm sure I have some suede lying around here. Suede is like artificially created fake leather, isn't it? Like a very modern thing. That, I mean, they have magic, but uh oh, no. If she's going to ask us to get rid of him, excuse me, lady. We're not supposed to be back here. Ah, oh, hello. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, hi, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Calm Men. <laughs> what can I do you for? That wasn't Irish. That was more, um, sort of northeast with a bit of estuary English. Let's take a look at your wares. Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. We'll see. Oh, hello. So, apparently, before a recent hotfix, the, the patch introduced an occasional crash when pressing this toggle. What do we got? Chocolatier style doublet. As in one who makes chocolate. Okay. Comfortable autumnal outfit. 
Comfortable blue and red outfit, unless you dye it. Comfortable red shirt, lots of red. Eminent obsidian outfit. Lion heart, green and pink outfit. You would need the heart of a lion to wear that. <laughs> Opalescent outfit. As in, you can't see through it. Raffish metallic shaded outfit. Road dust grey clothes. Road dust grey clothes. Yeah, we've got a lot of those. Rustic dark outfit. This is a perfect place. Snug purple shirt. Snuggle some green shirt as opposed to just being snug. So snug means it fits tightly. Snugglesome means you want to snuggle up with someone and have cuddles and be close to them. These look like exactly the same, just different colours. Uh, solemnity outfit in green. Splendid blue outfit. A resplendent red outfit. Right. Uh -huh. Spring slim fit outfit. A swarthy wayfarer in blue. Swarthy Wayfarer in Cream, Swarthy Wayfarer in Cream, and Swarthy Wayfarer in Red. And some Umber Trousers for someone who likes to go around topless. An ensemble very fitting for a relaxing sit by the campfire, whereupon stories are exchanged generally over hip flasks. It might be nice to get our companions some of these nice things. Wide brimmed hat, proper wizard hat. Uh, these are not camping boots. Ooh. I could get rid of some of these, however. And we have this nice new feature, thanks for patch. We can now see everyone's packs without having to click between them although it may still be worth if I do click between I don't know if it'll change who's trading we also have some information up here the discount is up here instead of down here for some reason now um, and far as underwear yeah apparently there's been some more fixes this patch to Minfara so that it's easier to knock her out and meet her in Act 2. Yeah, guess what? It's too late for us, unfortunately. I, I can go back at some point, but not now. Another time, perhaps. I was, bound, I was tempted to give that away for free. I was like, can I just make it like three or four gold instead? Right. There we go. Remember, Carms Garms, here for all your fashion needs. Delighted. That was done more for encumbrance purposes than for actual coin. I like we've got a nice little changing room here. Oh, now look at that. I can sit on that in my armor and that probably isn't very good. More than creases up could get dirty. What have we got here? Enjoy our new collection of luxury sleepwear. Never winter nighties. That is terrible. Someone needs to be punished for writing that. It depends on the person. And then we're in. Repairs and alterations available. Note, clothing from face maker fashion is not accepted. I don't have time for hopeless garments. Please tell me face maker fashion is that place right across the street on the other side of the road. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Mulworm Sendle, Icewind Dale Strandling, and Horde Scarab Dye now on sale. Uh -huh. Aha. There's, there's even some nice cloth there. Right, are we all outside? Get, no, no, Astarian, I want to close the door. Let's see. Like a responsible. That fucker's with me. He's behaving like a noob would. Like a Nova should. It's perfect. 
fairly offers patronage. The Gondians built the stables. At the first birthday were Gauntash's and which makes him the inventor. How about we settle on the Gondians and Gauntash? Danflin's dancing axe. You are not wearing Sounds dangerous. armor to meet my mother and father. A hero is nothing without the right equipment. See Danthelon's dancing axe for all your adventuring needs. All right. Welcome to Danthelon's dancing axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. That sounds like Andrew Wincott, the actor who voices Raphael in this game, putting on a bit of a, like, South, um, or South African accent or something. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthal. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. Yeah, so, um, it's subtle. It's in the, it's in the lower resonance. There's a cadence that's recognisable. Just gonna shut Nuba out for a moment. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble... You can turn off the charm, Entharl. She's with me. Blueberries. Thought I had a sail. You look tired, Harper. I missed you too. They're already here? Down below. Here's the key. Now what's that on his back? It, oh, it's a large bayonet and a crossbow. Now she was talking about this place outside, but I didn't quite catch it. Um, Pleased to meet you, Harper Enfal. You seem a nice sort. So I'll assume the insult was accidental. <coughs> in Farrell's no harper. In claims no love for those who are. But he's been known to shelter us when we need it. Entarl has been known to charge rent. <laughs> Harpers have been known to ignore him. Now go on. The short father may send me an actual paying customer today. Wait, I would like to take a look at your stock. To buy? You're already my favourite. Well, I don't know about that. But let's see. Ooh, he's got a few things. That one intrigues you in particular. I'm trying to get to it without crossing anything else is going to be a trouble though. Okay, so. This. Horns of the Berserker. Suitable for someone like... Well, someone who doesn't have horns on their head, probably. Seeking blood. You gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. And blood first. Unarmed and melee attacks will deal an extra two necrotic damage as long as you don't have your full health. If you don't deal any damage this turn, you take one to four necrotic damage at the end of your turn. I wonder if the blood first applies outside of combat or not. Because you could literally die equipping this and walking around of it for a bit. Okay. Looking for... Ah, something that's not an ordinary plus. Garb of the land and sky. Mountainous poise. <coughs> While using patient defense, you also benefit from the effect of blade ward. Patient defense sounds like a monk thing. Breeze Swift Speed. While using Step of the Wind, your next attack roll has advantage and deals an additional 1 to 8 force damage. Armor class plus 1. Uh, so, unarmed and melee attacks. Well, unarmed attacks would always be melee attacks, so why does it specify them specifically? Unless it's to ensure monk players that, yeah, look, you'll still benefit from this. Um, could have just said melee attacks. And there's a new cloak. Cloak of displacement. Aha! Oh, that's good. A long way to go, 
still. Yeah, it's still on Jaria trading, right. Who did it go to? Good, it went where I wanted. Um, gauntlets of a war master. Targets of a d disadvantage on saving throws against your maneuver and weapon actions. Sounds like something for one of our two frontliners. Oh, that's a lot of money. 3,040 for just... Oh, disadvantage. That's big. Yeah. That sounds like something for Lazel or Karlak, to be honest. We got lots of... Ar Ooh, Arrow of Humanoid Slaying. A lot of our foes do fall into the Humanoid category. Would doppelgangers count as humanoid or arrow dragon slaying? Single use. Of course it's single use, it's an arrow. I'll leave it at that for now. A pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. By which she means friends who actually Royce spend money. Me. You're on the door till our friends are. Home will ever believe this. That's a very short cloak, more of a cape, really. Okay, he's back here. That is a different. It was like Somi. Different chap, but he looks. Why is the name changed? Yeah, different hair as well. Um, something else I noticed. Uh, in the inspiration tab, Jaria has the default portrait for her race instead of how she ended up at the end of character creation. I don't know why. Moving in. I suspect it might be to account for things like mods. Um, but I don't know for certain. Okay, there's some stairs going down. We have a blatant button. Actually, we have one there as well, so they probably just unlock the doors. There is not one here, just a lock. We shall descend and meet whoever may be down here, really. Maybe they'll say, we've been investigating this thing, Jahira, and we need your help. Hello, people. Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, Hi, Harper. Standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Mm -hmm. Oh. <clears throat> the one who was a traitor, an infiltrator, a spy. I should check. I don't want to seek guidance from anyone else. Because there would be obvious collusion. Let's see now. Jahira will see through them. She must. She's fought double gangs before. I wonder if all four of these are doppelgangers. Shame, I wanted to talk to that one. That one back there, she looked quite nice.
Geraldus is the only harper here. The others are doppelgangers. Yes! The less subtle approach it is, then. Oh, Jahira. Orin promised you'd make for challenging prey, but then you brought an idiot along. <laughs> I'm not stupid, just on over. Dragon? What is going on outside? All right, let's see. Maybe they're just panicking because hostilities have ensued. You know what? I'm really tempted. I'll put it here. Right? No, no, right. Right, I'll put it here. Like that. To give us time to prepare. Where did the rest of the wall go? That's not good. It looks then like that Berserker's helmet might also only operate in combat, which is great. Is it open on this side? I think it is. Right. Let us... You know. Doppelgangers are monstrosities, they're not humanoids. As I suspected. Okay. Um, range. That's a good range. Send her away. Somewhere. Mirror image. And then we'll move up behind the stone wall. What's new here? It's not that. It's that. Okay. Alright, now you've done it. We were going to play nice and everything. We don't have a swift action jump, do we? No. Shame. Go far, he says. Right, now you're starting to piss me off. Well, she can't climb up the ladder now. Nope, leave it. Now we go with lightning. It's a bit more fun and interesting. Well, we tried. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We shall apply violence to the situation. Uh, there we go. Doesn't include him for some reason. That's not doing anything, so I can easily cancel that over. Hello. Oh, but it'll stick around after it. You know what? No. Nah. 
You can stay right there. Oh, but that's going to be a problem. Aha! But wait. Camera. Thank you. Well, look, we're just going to go over here. Perfect. Now, where were we? I'll just have these two foes in there, like that. We may need to ensure the survival. Sure, throw in some poison. Why not? And then, just take two. Lovely. Oh, really? Okay. Cunning action disengage. Right over here. Like I wanted to. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna pull her off the edge so badly. But I've used my cunning action so I can't because it's a fucking bonus action action. So I'll just have to be violent instead. She'll probably transform and get the ambush thing. Yeah, yeah, strike those mirror images. Nice. And there we go. Okay, that hurts a bit. Right. I wonder. Astarian, you're in range. That is massive amounts of healing. Yeah, sure. You Why not? The ground you stand on. Oh, that is not great damage, but it cleared off all the flame, which is good. Help Harper Geraldus, who we must not call Gerald, because Geraldus, Geraldus would just sound rubbish. Right. Can we get the kill? We can, yes, thank you. You're dead now. With a letter. Let's avoid slipping on the ice. Not that we're expecting our foes to do that. Hey, look. Here's what we want to do. Tried it. Didn't work. Oh, don't worry. You're coming down here. Go for level two. Do we have something that can fly? Got a cat. So the Albert has a jump, doesn't it? flight. Wesley can fuck off. And now that dwarf upstairs is going to have some explaining to do. This is his establishment. He probably doesn't know, but we should make sure he knows. Yeah, go upstairs. It's safer up there. 
Just make sure you stick around where we can contact you. Tried it. Didn't work. Good enough. Yeah, get up. I dare you. There's an owlbear right next to you. And it's not Pathfinder, so you don't provoke an attack of opportunity for standing up. Unfortunately. You would dare to hunt an owlbear? I mean, have you hugged an owlbear today? If you know the song, you know the song. Yep, ladder's wrecked. Let's, uh... Right, multi-attack. Enrage? Why not? Get angry. A lot of attacks. G. G. How many has she brought to Balsa? Nope. Get back up that ladder, girl. Actually, Gortash invented the steel watch. It's stunning. It's very and become yourself once again. Yeah, she furiously climbed that ladder. Because there's a chest up here I'd like to open. Okay. Arcane cultivation. Oh, third level slot. That's nice. Right. So we're going to... We know these are all Harper supplies, but... Okay, cage is broken. Maybe there were doppelgangers in the cage. And they broke out and escaped. That one should have a crossbow. This one should have a crossbow. They also have a crossbow. Again, I'm remembering classic purple box and first edition where doppelgangers did D12 damage punches unarmed. Like hitting one and a half times as hard as, as like a one-handed sword. Yeah. Let's read this. It seems rather relevant at the moment when I find it. I wonder if we could get a search for new function since new items are marked with a little white dot at the top. There we go. You don't have to wear those Harper smiles much longer. Orin has given the order. Kill the crone, but not before you tell her how her little soldiers died. Preserve some hair or sinew if you can. The Chosen would like to string a harp of her own. There's a crone. Is... Is there a hag involved in Still the harpers? Breathing, despite everything. Okay, we know who should speak here. Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Seluna's tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old cold harper, but yes. You got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city, like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead, evidently. Doppelgangers. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rajamar. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin while smiling at me out of her face. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl? Any citizen who might have wandered in? There is always a choice. Hmm. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! 
This work isn't for everyone, boy, and there is no shame in that. Go home to your mother and leave the test to us. Yes, High Hub. Just Jahira to you now. Go on. I have all the help I need. And some explaining to do, it seems. That seems very harsh. It's not clear if she's casting him out of the order. Blood? Or no, if she's just saying, you know, go home, you're out of it for this mission, take a break, we'll talk about this later. That is not evident. Is she being gentle, saying, look, you know, you shouldn't be involved in this, you know, there's, there's better things you could be doing with your life and we shouldn't be risking you. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach. Separates us from our pack. Until we know who the False Facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. So, I think, in Baldur's Gate 1, there was a subplot where a lot of the nobles and politicians in the city have been replaced by doppelgangers. Unfortunately, they weren't very clever or subtle about it, and they just transformed into their doppelganger form and attacked when we would come nearby. Here, they're being much more subtle and intelligent about it, and I like that. Um, except Geraldus. Geraldus, but you cast him aside. A kindness, I hope. My missteps have cost enough lives. Yeah, I thought I have so. not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen. True enough. But I set my harper searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? The name is as He's familiar a rock -hard as double -hard bastard. A hero of the time of troubles, <laughs> who saved the city more than once. There isn't a Baldurian alive who doesn't know that name. Butt-kicking for goodness! Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Rusk! And we never know why he shouted Rusk. <laughs> Evil round every corner. Be careful not to step in any. He's talking about cobbled shit. It, it takes a while to, to realise, but yeah, he's actually talking about literal shit on the floor. <laughs> but few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We've fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. Hmm. I suspect there's more to the story than that. What happened? I'll just take what you're willing to tell. Before we ever heard of this absolute... We received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him, and live to fight another day. Yeah, he, he would charge him blindly on his own. <laughs> Magic is impressive, but now Minsk leads swords for everyone! It was so bombastic. And here you are, you've made the right choice. Does she need validation? I think perhaps. I'm sorry, Jahira. That's a cruel choice to have to make. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry. Because I mean to use you. If you're willing. Infection. Indoctrination. Eradication. That has hmm. been the fate 
of everyone the cult has captured so far, but it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Wait, how recently was this? He'd be like over a hundred by now. If we can get Minsk on our side, <laughs> that would be really helpful. Then let's find him. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? <laughs> Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. You just sent a Harper away. I have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. For no other reason than that she asked. It's Minsk. That's reason alone. So Minsk is a lovable buffoon. He has a lot of personality, a lot of character, and is a lot of fun to be around. He's an absolute brain-dead Wally <laughs> with a death wish. Um, he's taken too many blows to the head. Not very intelligent. Where are those? Light on my feet. Eye bite. Oh, that's a nasty spell. That, I can't remember if that turns. Oh, he's gone out this door. I can't remember if eye bite turns gaze attacks back on the originator. Or if it means it's so they can't look at you and does something bad when they look at you. If your lot have cracked another bloody cask, I. Guess They're what? They're dead in Thurl. Doppelgangers were using them as bait. Seems they snared more than they could skin in you. Or did Geraldus survive? Alive. But he'll need some time to recover. Mm. I'll tuck the boy up tight till he's ready to get back to harboring. What will you do? Continue the hunt. Aye. Silly question, I suppose. I want to see what lies up these stairs outside. And if it can help me reach the inner city. Who is a merchant beneath us? Uh, no, no. Okay. There's a ladder. We're going to need to find our way past these steel workers. And it will not be easy. Gonna regret this. Greetings, citizen. I trust you are enjoying the city. And we all have female voices. Gortash must have a sort of harem complex. Fist. Blaze. Fist. Okay. Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. What's special about today? Is it closed today or every day? Is this like, um... Terminal? America is closed today. It's, it's America is closed today every day. Brilliant film. If you get the chance to watch it, do so. It's hilarious. Um, oh, bribery. Let's not... Investigator Valeria needs me in the lower city. A serial killer's on the loose. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. Yeah, you're going to lower that bridge for me? Well, Astarian liked that. We just used the information we've been given instead of making up anything else. No, don't close everything. the door. Walk through it. Door bug is real again. Ugh. I have a lot on my mind. Straight ahead, across the bridge. Halt! Let's just... We hmm. do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, hmm. dominant, commanding. 
My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. The wings on its helmet are moving ever so slightly, as if fluttering. A pleasure to meet you. Could we talk face to face? Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. My dear sir, I fear you misunderstand me. You are an evil shit thing that should die. What is that? Hells. Not this that again. is bad news. The brain is resisting its orders. With oh, he's right here. Stones to control it. It will soon start acting on its own will. Hmm. Do you heard anything about what it's like in the prisons? <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Probably for the best. Are they going to arrest them? They say Gortash won't be king, but that pomp upstairs sure sounds like a coronation. Hmm. Mistaken. It's a waiting that's hard. If we could just talk to one of the fists, it would be as clear as day that we're not criminals. Are they going to arrest us? What if they throw us in jail? I ain't saying nothing to nobody until I've had my trial. Oh, no time to talk. I have clients to brief and they're as sharp as spoons. She doesn't gonna happen to us. Not sure. We'll tell them what happened. It almost looked like the texture hadn't fully loaded for her shirt. And tell me what you were doing in the house. Oh, leave it out. I've got a trial coming up, and I need to rememberize my lines. In other words, he needs to memorize the lies he's going to tell to try and get himself off. Wow. Pretend I'm a fist and tell me what you were doing in the house. Well, you're this is the armory, not a bloody open house. Fists only. Now clear off. She doesn't mean we're not allowed to carry weapons and we're only allowed to punch people here. She means members of the Flaming Fist. Apparently I can trade with you. Trade? Do I look like a shopkeeper? This equipment nope. isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. Yeah, I was hoping to donate some equipment to the Flaming Fist. Lord Gortash himself told me to speak to you about my requirements. Were you not informed? Either you trade with me or I suggest you start running. What if I were to pay for, say, a trading license first? Why is she in a bad mood? I shouldn't do this. I really shouldn't do this. That's the game's way of telling me, Raf. Use some inspiration. And use Detect Thoughts less this morning. Can't believe they put that mindless metal Mragresham in my armory. Steel watchers. Stupid thing will probably decapitate me for cleaning the bloody mace rack. <sighs> ah, steel watches make me uneasy. A good weapon in my palm would put my mind at rest. Finally someone who sees sense. Strong folk wielding strong blades. That's what keeps folk safe. Not those glorified golems. I don't have anything fancy, but... They are welcome to take a look. 
Um, she says she doesn't have anything fancy. Um, she's got plus two items. That's pretty fancy, to be honest. Yeah, no. What? Grilled miniature giant space hamster. No, don't, don't. Minsk's constant companion was a loyal miniature giant space hamster. Um, and it was heavily implied that it was just a normal size hamster a con man had sold him. I'm gonna flog these two crossbows though. Offload some of these daggers as well. And that bow. Let's give her a favourable trade. Stay sharp, stranger. In these times, all we can trust are the blades in our hands. So, I find it interesting that she used a tiefling slur. Was she originally supposed to be a tiefling? Maybe she's just so used to their culture. Okay, these are both passageways. Don't know where they go. But we are wanted upstairs, apparently. This isn't it. <laughs> Maybe these halls will lead in that direction. Looks like stairs descending. How would I then seek to ascend? Over here? I just need a way up. With any luck, the stairs will head in two directions. I wasn't intending on confronting Lord Gortash straight away. Let's go back up the stairs. Perhaps one of the doors over there and up and across is the way to go. We'll tell them what happened and we'll be home in no time. I spoke to a witness who says you entered the house before the fire. You've been for ages. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Maybe here. Flaming Fist Barracks. Authorized personnel Probably only. better not. There's no plaque. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Well, if you would tell us how to get to the audience chamber, uh -oh. this is probably is it. You. Please make your way uh oh, to the this can't be chamber. good. Click, look, I'm just going to go back outside one moment. Evidently, I need to change my party Lord composition. Let's go Please back to camp. You know, if we make it a long rest, chamber. sure. Wait. Mm. No time to rest. We're okay. And now I'll get to explore a new patch feature, possibly one of the most important features of the recent patch. I should probably made it more explicit. If there was a patch a few days ago, but hey. And yeah, while I enabled okay. mods earlier, they're disabled now, so it's all cool. Um, now, we don't need to boot people out the party. Instead, we can just go and find Will.
The Harpers have been compromised. A balancing power now unbalanced. To hear a support has been invaluable. We should return it in kind. Did you know... Stelmane very well back in the day? I met her twice. The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Mm. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim? I asked Father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. Ah. I am not short on sympathy. Oh. Part of Maybe the Mind Flayer was feeding off her brain, and it wasn't really a stroke, it was actual brain damage. Um, gone before her time. Gone before her time, it sounds like. What a tragedy. Not a tragedy. A calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant's strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Could it be true that Duke Stelmane was allied with the Emperor? Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Mm, Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. Maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a Mind Flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. I'd like you to join me. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. Now I can just go, hey look, take Astarian's place, he'll stay here in camp. Let's make this happen. I don't need to go and talk to a star in town to leave the party and then come back and talk to Will again and ask him if she wants. I can just do it like that. And that is one of the beautiful features of this patch. Also, Lazel wants to have a word. I think we can tell how this is going to go. Voss is waiting. He should know what happened with Raphael. He should know as in we should tell him. Vlakiv promised to make you Ba'at to Vlakiv. What does that mean? Vlakiv's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlakiv won has a Ba'at to Vlakiv been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. I see. Just stay here a while. You know what I should do, though? I don't want to draw any attention. No, that's not... Not what I wanted. I want... This. Advantage on attack rolls while surrounded. And... 15 temporary hit points and ending rage. So those gauntlets I saw for sale would be nice for Karlak. Speaking of which, by the way... If not over, then through. If we're going to see Gortash... Her and he have unfinished business. Shapeshifters in the Harpers. My dad always admired their mission said they gave up their entire lives so we could live safely and ask for nothing in return. We'll rout them, right? For the city and for Dad. Oh, we'll do more than that. You better come with me. 
Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. Yeah, we're gonna need to leave Jahira in camp. Let's hop. But I want you to fully understand we'll be swapping back again, probably next episode. Right. Someone's got leveling to do. Now, uh, so I'm intrigued that they sent an override to Shadowheart's hair colour, which implies that they knew people would try to change her appearance. Which again implies that maybe at one earlier point, companions were going to be able to use the magic mirror. Also, um, the fact they, I don't know if they overrode the hair model to be like, display this instead or if they actually did change it but because because that hair model is available with mods in the character creator but because it's a, a playable version added by a mod it might be enabled it might be a separate model and if the game doesn't recognize it it might just be reverting back to her previous hairstyle because that is available in the character creator so i don't know right but it's it's interesting and it helps give me insight into how things are done like the fact that the character tags are probably used for things like Ranger's favourite enemy. Um, right, actions, what we got? Fiendish Resilient, it's an action. Choose a damage type and become resistant to it. You can pick a new damage type each short rest. He needs to be doing things after each rest. Anyway, so, we gain another cantrip. Friends. I think it would be very interesting to play Will as an origin character because he has something none of the ca other characters have a missing eye trying to get the tadpole removed by um, Auntie Ethel cost an eye he only has one eye. Would he then be permanently blind? I'm sure she'd be willing to take his only good eye. Or she might... If he says, like, take the right eye, she'd be like, don't be silly, that's not an eye, I'll take the left. Um, with... Um, Volo sticking stuff around in his eye socket, I suppose Volo could just be like, okay, let's just take this one out, right? and pop it back in afterwards. Maybe even replacing it with the other one, actually, which would piss off Mizora. I don't think he'd use this one, but apparently there's... Uh, he might. Good God. Um, so it means that Will is going to have a harder time trying to remove a tadpole. And I did notice in the patch notes, for not this patch, but the previous one, there's a special result now if you go to Auntie Ethel as Will and have already had Volo dig around in your skull trying to pull the thing out and then you say to Auntie Ethel, yes I want to take your deal it's probably fatal <laughs> right high level spells, what we got Cone of Cold, excellent stuff short range blasty, well it's, it's a medium range cone but it's like for when stuff's up close Flame Strike ooh Radiant as well aha Hold Monster yeah, sure so far, Flame Strike and Hold Monster are looking very tempting. We've got Blight. Would be nice to open his current spell, but I suppose we can do that on the Replace spell tab and look at it. Uh, fear. Mm. The thing about the Warlock is that spell level is irrelevant, and it's more spell effect. So if we take Flame Strike, and then we go to Replace spell and go... Hex we should probably be using more of. Arms of Hadar. Not able to use reactions. Armor of Agathis. I should probably be using that. Um, it doesn't say if it's concentration. We have not used Cloud of Daggers very much for a long time. 
and we could replace that with hold monster. There we go. Excellent. These boots have seen everything. And now we're going to leave camp and find out what Mizora is doing openly in the city. In the seat of the House of Law, no less. Probably corrupting people and making dodgy deals. Karlak has unfinished business with Gortash. I doubt we're going to get a straight confrontation right here, but more of an introduction. Get to know more about what he's up to. Will is suitable for this. Okay, it's just through that door. Let's not go through that door. If it isn't little Will, straight to your handler. And I didn't even have to whistle. Mizora, I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. Heard about your father. The Absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. He's upstairs in Worms Rock, mm -mm. ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid party, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. <sighs> Uh, looking at the time, I should probably end the episode here, so we can have a confrontation up there next time. Yeah, I'll go with that. I started later this morning, and I am still in pain. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just woke up, had a nasty cramp in my leg, and uh, it's not fun. Right, well, I'm going to end this one here. Hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode with doppelgangers and me nattering on about Shadowheart's hair too much, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the very next one. I'm going to say goodbye for now though, and cheerio everyone. See you all soon.